I just got out of, I got, got my visa on Thursday. Mm -hmm. So I had to hurry up and book a flight here. I got here like three hours before my race. And it was nice just coming out and getting to 75. It was really easy. Did it, did it affect you? I mean, did you feel less, less strength than usual? Yeah, I felt like my blue's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, glad that I came here and I, I, I got the same fire. That's the main thing. What time in Nairobi did you leave? Uh, I left on, at 6 p.m. on Thursday. Uh -huh. yeah, then took a flight to Doha. Uh, then that was like five hours. And then Doha to Seattle was like 14 hours. And then Seattle to here, one hour. So it's like... 20 hours of air flight. Did you, you sleep at all on the plane? Yeah, of course. Were you first class? Or yeah, I, I flew business too. From Doha to Seattle. Is it a flat bag? Yeah, it was a flat I got some rest. I could have run the air flight. <laughs> I slept for around 9 hours in the 14 hour flight. So that was enough for us. And when you were in the airport, did you do any exercises or anything to stay loose in the layovers? Nah, nah, nah. nah. I couldn't do it in Doha because I had another 14 hour flight. So. I was just doing some stretches on the plane and hoping that my body stays in check. And did you sleep well? At what point did you start the process, or did the Federation start the process of getting your visa? We applied for visas, the whole team, on Thursday, the other week. Everybody got their visa on Friday, so mine was held back. I don't know why, but the reasons are known to the embassy. Do we know why? <laughs> you mean, she, you mean, Chef Curry never got her, so she's not here. Oh. The 10,000 Yeah, I'm not sure what happened, but I thought she could have good in half. Yeah. Did they say why yours was not approved? No, no, I, I never got any reason. The good thing is I got it, so everything else is fine. Are you, is it, is it troubling to you that, you know, an athlete of your stature has to go through something like that just to come and compete? Yeah, it's, it's really disappointing and I hope they do better next time yeah. because I know they're, under, they're handling, they're hosting the Olympics in 2028 mm -hmm. so I really hope they learn from this and reach better, much better. You seem very relaxed about things and I saw that someone sent me a picture when you landed in Eugene, <laughs> instead of running here, you didn't even talk to the media there. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know in life you, have, you, you can't force issues, you can't, I learned that you have to relax in every situation so that things can work out, so that really helped. So I'm glad I get here, I got here, I relaxed and just ran through and got to the semi So did you come straight from the, from the airport to here? Yeah, yeah, but I'm, I don't, I've not even checked into my room, so I'm going to do that after this. <laughs> <laughs> so so who, who is the body that needs to, to learn? Is it Oregon 2022? Was it World Athletics? Was it USATF? Like, the, who's kind of the The embassy, have, actually. The embassy are the ones who are supposed to give up visas to athletes, yeah. So I hope they do that better next time. The American embassy is kind of... I mean, there's been people uh, in all, all African countries who've had a lot of problems with immigration and these visa issues. You know, not happy, just people of every day. Is, is that, you know, something that you were aware of at all? And does this, you think, kind of shine a light on that a little bit? Um, I've never been in such a situation before, so it's, it's a learning process. I mean, you know, as an athlete, you expect anything. <laughs> so this, one was, this was not an exception, so we hope next time it will be better. How much of a gap was there between you arriving at the stadium today and your race? Uh, five, that's three hours. Three hours, yeah. Okay, but you, so you were here three hours before your race yeah, at the stadium? Five, yeah, five hours. Oh, okay. As a, <laughs> as a medal contender, how do you rebound from this and make sure that tomorrow you're not thinking about the yeah, travel anymore? The main thing is that I'm here. That's the positive thing about it. So it's just to focus on the semifinals, get some rest, and then see what happens tomorrow. What did you think of the other guys in the 100 today? There were some fast times. Yeah, there were crazy fast times. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's a very competitive event. So we hope tomorrow I'll get I'll up my game. So, so like during the last week, did you, did you have any, like, was anyone telling you, like, hey, don't worry, it'll come by Thursday? Or did you have any, like, were you worried it wasn't going to come at all? I knew it was not coming. I knew I'm traveling on Thursday morning. <laughs> I had already given up coming here because, like, on Thursday I'm supposed to run on Friday. So. I had already given up, but you see, go do up to So in a perfect scenario, when would you have arrived in Eugene? On Tuesday. Tuesday, that yeah. was the plan. Uh, yeah, the plan was arrive on Tuesday, then uh, just do some training and stuff like that, and then run on, on Friday. And does your body feel like it's nighttime right now, or is your clock all screwed? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a, a bit of uh, fatigue. And <laughs> I need to sleep. <laughs> And did you sleep much on Wednesday night, the night before you left Kenya? Yeah, no, 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 I never slept much because it was all about thinking about the visa issue. Yeah. And you see your phone is ringing and buzzing like every hour because everybody's calling and asking what's up. 
So never got much of sleep. You said that you flew from Nairobi. Do you live in Nairobi? Or do you yeah, yeah, I live in Nairobi. What's the bracelet tonight? Oh, this one. This one is my season best, 985, and then this is my personal best, 977. I hope I break this. Can you brace it before you leave? Yeah, I hope it. I, if I break it, I remove and throw it on track. <laughs> <laughs> You've beat Fred Curley before. Can you do it again? Uh, I hope so. He's proven to be in good shape, so I hope tomorrow I'll be better. What, is it about, like, what has Fred done the past year in your mind that's made him ascend as he has? Sorry? I said, what has Curley done over the past year that's really made him... Uh, Improved. Great job, Fred Yeah. Fred Kelly or me? Fred Fred Curley. Uh, you watch him. I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, you've had an unbelievable two years of improvement. <laughs> what have you done? Um, uh, let's say COVID was a blessing in disguise because we trained like seven months without any competition, so that was a big help. Yeah. Do you ever play rugby anymore? No, I just miss it. <laughs> I miss rugby. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank you.